Welcome to my lecture online. So we know how to take the derivative of the function e to the x. That's the easiest derivative in the world because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But what if it's not an e? What if it's a to the x? How do we take the derivative of that? And so that might be a bit more perplexing because how do you go about doing that? What is the rule? Well actually there's a mathematical trick that we can use to be able to find the derivative of that. So what we're going to do is the following. We can say that a to the x can be written as e to the natural log of a quantity to the x power. So what we can do is we can, instead of writing a, we can write e raised to the natural log of a because e to the natural log of a gives us a again. So now what we can do is we can say, well, this is equal to e times x to the natural log of a because when we have an exponent raised to an exponent it's the same as multiplying the exponents. So essentially what we're doing here is we're going to find the derivative, the d dx, of e times the natural log of a times x. So maybe I'll write it like this, the natural log of a times x. So it's a constant times x because a is a constant so therefore the natural log of a is a constant. And then, of course, we can use the rule that we use for finding the derivative of e to the x. So this would be equal to e to the natural log of a times x. Yeah, let me rewrite that. That's a terrible looking e. There we go. Times the derivative of the exponent. So that's just times the constant, the natural log of a. You could also write it as the natural log of a multiplied times e to the natural log of a times x. Um, yep, yeah, that works like this. Okay, now what we can do is we can change that back. Remember, e raised to the natural log of a is simply a, so we can then replace uh, this quantity right here by a again. So this can now be written as the natural log of a multiplied times a to the x power, or if you want to reverse the order, this is equal to a to the x, times the natural log of a. So whichever you want to write it, either one would be good. So this would be, if this was a function, we can then say y prime, y prime, or the d dx. Uh, maybe I won't use y prime because that can get confusing. Let me just go ahead and repeat that. So what we can then say is that the derivative, the d dx, of the function a to the x is equal to the natural log of a times a to the x, or a to the x times the natural log of a. All right, so let's do a quick example. What if we have the derivative, the d dx, of 2 to the x power? Well, again, we use our example here, so we know that this must be equal to the natural log of 2 multiplied times 2 to the x power. The natural log of 2 is um, 0.693. So we could say 0 0.693 multiplied times 2 to the x power. And that is the derivative, the d dx, of 2 to the x power. So that's how that's done. Yeah, if you don't use that little trick, you really will be puzzled by that problem. You may not know how to do that, but that little trick will take care of it. Just memorize a trick. Yeah. yeah, that's easiest. Just that. just to realize that this can be written like that and then the rest is easy. Yeah, but when you solve a problem, you didn't do it. No, I just go ahead and copy it down from there. Can you memorize a trick? Yeah, that's the you idea, memorize, right? You memorize a formula, you didn't memorize the trick. So what you're saying is use the same principle here. So you can say, okay, this can be written as equal. So we're going to write this as uh, e times the natural log of 2, because instead of 2, we write this to the x power, which is then equal to e to the x times the natural log of 2. And then we take the derivative of that, we say, okay, this is equal to e to the x. Uh, because it's a derivative right here. So derivative is equal to this, which is equal to that. So we're good. No, because it's the derivative of 2 to the x. It's okay. It's good. We're good. Keep going. e to the x 
times the natural log of 2 times the natural log of 2 and of course e to the x times the natural log of 2 this can be written as the natural log of 2 times e to the natural log of 2 raised to the x power and then this simply becomes 2 again so this is equal to 2 to the x power multiply it times the natural log of 2 so I guess you could memorize it in such a way that if you take the right here if you take the d dx of 2 to the x you get 2 to the x times the natural log of the base so, but now you know why that is so Yeah, well, we took that simple example, which is what you want, right? So the concept of uh, the dx of 2 to the x, or any constant to the x power. What constant to a more complicated power? Oh, that's very different. Now we're dealing with a very different kind of function. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah.